The Pacers look to take charge. We're going to bring it to you here from Indianapolis, Indiana. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. Going up against a capable opponent, but you see their confidence. This one they feel they should win. They'll look to come out strong and show they're the better team. They say the Pacers are back, and they're going to be around for a while contending for championships. Good on the three-point shot. Tinsley's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Pacers. It's Delonte West on the way. Defended by Rush. Durant just inside the line. The Pacers pull it in. And for the Pacers, ever since that unfortunate night in Detroit, the attendance in Indiana has sat. They've been at the bottom half percentage-wise, Steve, for the last nine years. Well, it's time for the fans to come back, Kevin. You know, this is an elite team. They've got really high character, good guys. Talk with head coach Frank Vogel. What do you have to say? And my first question was, what's the plan against Kevin Durant? Probably the premier scorer in the entire league. He said, so it's the Pacers now, following Delonte West's three. Rush gets the bucket. How about that throw? Granger with the ball. Now Thomas defending. Here's O'Neal. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Thomas kicks to Watson. Left side Durant. There's the triple. It's good and Watson picking up the assist. Granger outside. Gets it to go. Granger's got his first basket of the night. Now here's West, averaging six points for contest. Wilcox, the pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the chain. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Foster, and he slams it one-handed. His hands, he's not um, frantic. He makes good decisions, and he's patient. From downtown, boom, he jams it straight down. Rudely thrown down after the offensive rebound. He's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. He's got to do a better job defensively. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Watson's shot is good. If he kicks to Murphy. To the paint, Foster, and the dunk to finish it off. Wow, beauty. Stupendous rush to the rim, and a motivation has been sorely lacking. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Thomas inside, marvelously picked up by Watson. Here's Diener. Kept alive by Indiana. Here's Harrison. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Pacers. Sean Williams is out there with Dunleavy. After Jeff Green's bucket. He kicks to Williams. And that's good. And Dieter with the assist. Range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. Ridenauer, that's good. He passes to Daniels. Indiana moving it around. Here's Harrison. Hits the jump hook. And the Pacers lead four right now is not getting it done. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Daniels. Again, Indiana. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Outside Wilkins. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And it's gone by. Williams against Wilkins. Ridnauer from outside. And that one's good. Ridnauer. Green with the block. And here is Serbia. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And another basket for Seattle. Well, great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? Yes, sir. Dean, 
He's guarded by Rigmund. And good on the basket. Hook it. And stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. And so here is Indiana. They trail by six. And they are playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen one. They lead by four. Kicks it out to Ridenauer. And another three for Seattle. Here's Tinsley. Back to Granger. That one falls off Tinsley's feet. They have repeat the ball. Wilkins off the pick from Green. Wilkins with the ball. Now guarded by Daniels. Green. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He's found a rhythm here in this second quarter, guys. He looks good. And there's the feed to O'Neal. Tinsley cans the shot from the wing. Tins averaging 22 points a game. And O'Neal backs in. Back to Granger. Sinks the triple. Granger's got five points in the quarter. 50% on the three ball here. And Tinsley kicks to O'Neal. Here's Foster. And the layup falls. Foster's had his third basket of the night. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. I don't think he was probably a big part of the game plan, so this is a nice surprise for this club. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. We've got Delonte West. Jerome is out there. Backs in. Thomas, guarded by O'Neal. For three, Durant. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. A four since the break. For three, Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Gets the bucket. They've been getting it. Now rush. Shot's good. And you can feel the... the they're struggling here. They're just one of five to start this third quarter. They've got to loosen up here. Here's Tinsley, and the Pacers tack on two more. Durant off a pick from Wilcox to the inside. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, here's Tinsley. He has seven. Rush dishes to Granger. Gets it to go from beyond the end. He's got 15. I'll tell you what, the first half may have been a little slow, but both clubs really picking up the intensity here in the second. I'll say that's for sure. I mean, things have really ramped up here. And that one's good. Feel. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. The shot's good on the assist by West. And by Tinsley. Now the Pacers moving it up. The kick out to Williams. He feeds it to Dunlop. Another shot, and he lays it up and in. Passing effort to the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second. And stolen by Watson. And here's the fast break. Watson leading the way. Here's Dupree, and he goes in for the dunk. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth. Here is Watson. Tinsley covering. Here's Dupree. It's good, and Watson picking up the assist. Ike Diago is out there with Murphy. That's Jamal Tinsley. Then there's Dunleavy, and it's Granger in at the small four. That's the pick. Back to Granger. Shot clock at six. Now the pass to Tinsley. And he hits it to tie the game up. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. That's good on the jump shot. They're saying no time like the present, gentlemen. Embrace it. Embrace the spotlight and let's make it happen. Kevin, let's see what they can do. Thanks again, Doris. That's to Ridnauer. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Tinsley, he's guarded by Ribnow. Let's it go from the wing. Second chance shot. 
and it's Granger laying it in. Granger, everything they've got, force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. The Pacers making a switch here. Rush is checked in. Durant banked in off the glass. I'll tell you. Here in the fourth. Collison with the screen for Durant. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. O'Neal kicks to Granger. The turnaround on Jay. And that one's good. Granger's got four points this quarter. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. His teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. The baseline J. And Kevin Durant again. A nice piece of work inside a little bit more this half. And I love that mentality. You talked about it earlier, being the aggressor. It's the right way to play with the lead. Keep attacking. Here's Foster. Lays it up and banks it in. You know, they haven't been able to a very tough brand of basketball. And Durant backing in. And the rejection by O'Neal. Now the Pacers moving it up. Granger passes to O'Neal. That is good. Out. For the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away. Straight to the rim. Durant attacking. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. On the wing, Granger. 156 left in the game. And this throw, that one drops. Not much left with his shooting here, too. Here is Watson. Tinsley covering. And here is Serbia. Takes it out to Ridnour. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. Tinsley loses to Granger to tie it up. And the bucket counts. He's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Now the Pacers moving it up. And the jam by Jermaine O'Neal. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel part, the perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. That could be a huge four-point swing in this game. Fifty-eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Watson, the pass to Durant. And again, unable to change momentum here. Again, Durant missing. Indiana's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Here is Durant. Durant off a pick from Wilcox. And Durant, here we go. Here's West. Seattle missing again. Absolutely critical chance right here. Yeah, they need this one to go their way, Kevin. And a chance here to send it into overtime. Need a three. Watson. Intercepted. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. That's the first. That gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. And that's an intentional foul. <laughs> and he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. That's good. Going one or two from the line. And that increases their lead to six. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? I think they have to go for a three right now, don't you, Clark? Yeah, I don't think they have any choice but to go for the three, Steve. Boy, he quieted the crowd with that big shot. That's a big play. Yeah, the crowd's been hoping for something to cheer for, but nothing. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk, Clark, coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But that's what happens when you get all five guys on. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. For three, Durant. Oh, he knocks it in a beautiful buzzer beater. Just in time. Nothing but zeros on the clock as he drains the winner. Finish. And he never had a doubt. He was celebrating the moment it had left his hand. So it's a narrow victory for the Sonics pulling out the W.